more that you uncover, the more the layers you take off, the more intense the rage is. It's almost like that this whole world was made to cover over the rage, to minimize the rage, to dilute the rage, to deflect away and distract away from the rage, and the more you go on the spiritual journey, it's like hatred, intense fury hatred, intense rage, and it's like, and that's why, you know, a lot of times the mind can seem to just shut off and say, okay, I don't care how long I was on this spiritual journey, I don't care how many books I read, and I don't care all the exercises and how many times I meditated, if you'd have told me that I was going to hit that much rage and self-hatred, I would have never gone, I would have never peeled off the first layer, I would have never tried to do the first forgiveness lesson if I knew that I'd have to go and face that. It's like facing a beast that the whole cosmos was made to hide. And so, without mighty companions, without lots of miracles, without lots of mind training to prepare yourself, you don't want to go and face that beast. You will just find yourself hurled back, like, you know, if you have any kind of pride about how great your spiritual journey has been, you know, the beast is, is saying, come to Papa, come on into this cave, and let's just see how your miracles are doing here. And, and that's extremely disillusioning, that's why people just kind of run, they flee quickly in the other way, and they just, let's just get back to the way that it was. But you can't really go back. I mean, the further you get down, and the more you ex expose, you start to realize that there is no going back. And then you really have to, have to have the trust. You are not going to face that beast without trust. Really trust in the Holy Spirit. You can forget trust in people at some point. <laughs> trust in appearances is like, Okay, Holy Spirit, I'm in with you, and we're going all the way, and I know you're with me, you know. There's a workbook lesson in the Course where Jesus says, Who walks with me? You know, that question could be asked a thousand times a day, and a thousand more after that. Who walks with me? You better have the Holy Spirit with you for this journey, because you're not going to get past the beast. Uh, release the beast without that. So, so then we took it just to take a look at rage. So, so what is it that's raging? Really, what is it that's raging? Is, is, is Christ raging? No, Christ isn't raging. The ego is raging at God. If you want, to, want it straight, that's what's going on. It's not a personal rage, it's not Tom's rage, or David's rage, it's, it's not the mask, it's the ego that's, it's not the personality self that's raging, it's the ego that's raging at God. And then, as you get closer to the ego, which is kind of buried down in the mind, like, like a, just like when you get a splinter stuck in your skin, you know, it's, it's just, it's irritating and it's annoying, and when you actually go after it, it can be quite painful to get it out of there. Well, it's the same when you go down towards the ego and you uncover it, you're uncovering its rage at God. In fact, what it did was it invented its own God, because it doesn't know the real God. You know, perfect love casts out fear, that's why the ego can never know God, because the ego was made as a defense against God. 